All right, starting today by having a seat on the mat. Finding that comfortable seat, whether it's feet crossed, legs out, feet on the floor, whatever you find comfortable, let those hands come down, whether they're in the lap, down by your sides, and we'll start to close the eyes. Start to focus on the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Feeling the air move all the way into the lungs. Down to the toes. And then feeling it leave the body with each exhale. Taking this time to start to recognize the breath. Start to see how it makes us feel. Also taking this time to let our days go. Allowing ourselves to come into our room and onto our mats. So take these next few minutes to just feel the breath and to recognize it. Breathing as deeply as is comfortable to you. We'll take a couple more deep breaths. And we'll let the hand, excuse me, we'll let the arms come down by the sides. As we inhale, lift those arms up. And as we exhale, turn those palms away, let those arms come down. Doing this a couple times. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Exhale, turning those palms, dropping those arms down. And inhale the arms up. And exhale, drop those hands down. Take those hands, place them onto the knees, and let that head fall, dropping that chin to the chest. Stretching out the back of the neck here. Take a few deep breaths. And then we'll slowly start to rotate that head from side to side. Taking our time here. Rolling through all the little kinks in the neck. And then the next time we roll over to that right side, we'll hold the head over that shoulder. Take that left arm, place it down on the mat, whether your palm flat or up on those fingertips, just getting that little extra stretch on the side of that neck.
And we'll take that hand, placing it back up on the lap. Rotate that head over to that other side, holding that head over that shoulder. Take that hand, that right hand this time, drop it down onto the mat, either up on those fingertips or palm flat, getting that extra little stretch here. And then we'll pick up that hand, roll that head one more time to each side. And then we'll bring the neck back center, dropping that forehead, or sorry, the chin to the chest. And then slowly as we inhale, bring that head up. Keep that head going up, bringing that chin up to the sky, stretching out the front of that neck. And then on the exhale, bring that head back, forward, gaze forward. And we're going to come up onto those hands and those knees, taking our time getting there. We'll take one hand, or make sure the wrists are placed under the shoulders, knees are under those hips, feet are flat on the floor behind us. As we inhale, drop that belly down, bring that gaze up. Exhale, roll that spine in, tuck that chin to the chest. Inhale, dropping down, gaze going up. Exhale, roll that spine, tuck that chin. Inhale, dropping the belly down, bringing the gaze up. Exhale, roll that spine, tucking that chin. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, drop that belly down, bring that gaze up. And on the exhale, roll that spine, tuck that chin. On the next inhale, coming into a neutral spine. As we inhale, we'll take our right hand for either bringing it straight out to the side or pointing it up towards the sky. And as we exhale, thread it through that opposite hand and knee, dropping that shoulder down, bringing that cheek right onto the mat, taking that left arm, draping it over that lower back. You guys hold that pose. I'm going to let someone in really quick. Take those deep breaths. Oh, looks like we missed them. Continue keeping those breaths. And on that next inhale, we'll take that left hand, placing it right by the face, lifting ourselves back up, placing both hands back down onto that mat. We'll move on to that other side, taking that left hand, either stretching it straight out to the side or bringing it up towards the sky. And as we exhale, threading it through, dropping that cheek onto the mat, taking that right hand, either draping it over that lower back, or stretching that arm straight out in front and take those deep breaths. Taking a few more deep breaths here. And we'll take that right hand, placing it right by the face, slowly bringing ourselves back up. Placing both hands down onto the mat, lining ourselves up again. And we're going to take those big toes together. If we want, we can walk the knees so they're a little wide on the mat. We're just keeping them where they are, whatever's comfortable. Start to sink those hips down over the heels. Slide those arms out, place that forehead on the mat. And feel the stretch all down the shoulders, all the way down into that lower back.
Take this time to refocus on the breath here. At any point in our practice this evening, we can always drop into our child's pose, helping us refocus. We'll take one more deep breath here. And exhale it out. On the next inhale, lifting ourselves back up onto those hands and those knees. We're going to tuck the toes behind us and lift those hips up towards the sky. <clears throat> Take a second here to pedal out those feet. Stretching out the backs of those legs. Maybe one side's a little bit tighter than the other. So feel free to hold it maybe just a little bit longer before switching over. Anytime we're in our down dogs, feel free to pedal those feet out. And we'll let those legs come into stillness. Take a deep inhale and exhale here. And on our next inhale, we'll walk those feet up to those hands. <clears throat> Folding ourselves over the legs with a bend in those knees. Taking a second here to kind of stretch out that back. So let that head just hang. Let those hands hang. And we'll take those hands, place them onto the thighs, and slowly start to roll ourselves all the way up. Taking our time, stacking those vertebrae as we come up, bring that head up last, and roll those shoulders back and down. Take the hands, place them alongside the body, open those fingers nice and wide, close those eyes, take a deep inhale, and exhale it out. Open those back, eyes back up. And as we inhale, bring those arms up, gaze going up towards those thumbs. As we exhale, open those palms out to the side, start to swan dive over those legs. Inhale, slide those hands up those legs, coming halfway. Exhale, fold back down. On the next inhale, step the feet back to a high plank or onto the knees. As we exhale, dropping all the way down onto the mat. Untuck those toes. Inhale, lifting just that chest. Exhale, dropping back down. And on that next inhale, come back to our down dog. Taking a breath here. On the next inhale, walk the feet up to the hands. Folding ourselves over the legs. And as we inhale, come all the way up. Bringing those arms, exhaling them down. Inhale the arms up, gaze going up. Exhale, open those arms, swan dive over those legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. On the next inhale, step the feet back to that high plank or onto those knees. As we exhale, come all the way onto that mat. Untuck those toes. Inhale, just lifting that chest. Exhale, down. Inhale, pushing back to our down dog. Taking that breath here. We'll actually take a couple breaths in this down dog. Again, feel free to pedal those feet out. On the next inhale, we're going to drop down onto the knees. 
You can untuck those toes for just a second, but we're going to come down onto the elbows. So those elbows, we want to try to keep them right under the shoulder. So if you take the hands and kind of wrap the fingers around the outside of the elbows, so you kind of have a forearm length between them, <clears throat> that would kind of help it so those, those elbows are under the shoulders. So then you can take the hands and kind of rotate them back out. So once we have those, that length here with the shoulders, we're going to take the toes, tucking them back up, and start to lift the hips up, coming up into a dolphin here. If this is too much, you can stay on those knees and just kind of hold it right here. Or you can come into a full down dog. A little more on those shoulders here. So take a couple of deep breaths. Wherever you're at in the pose, just send that breath into the body. We'll take one more breath here. And as we exhale, coming back down onto those knees, we'll untuck those toes, take those hands, placing them onto the mat. And we'll kind of sit back on those heels. Just give those arms a nice little wiggle here. And then coming back onto all fours, tucking those toes behind us. This time coming into that full down dog, holding for just a breath here. And on the next inhale, we're going to walk the feet up to the hands. Folding ourselves over the legs. So we're going to move between our half lift and our fold just a couple times here. So not coming all the way for a few breaths. So as we inhale, we're going to slide the hands coming halfway. As we exhale, we're going to fold back forward. Inhale, slide those hands halfway. Exhale, fold back forward. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, sliding those hands coming halfway. And exhale, fold back down. Take those feet, kind of toe heel them so they're about hip distance apart here. As we inhale, we're going to start to sink the hips down like we're going to sit into a chair and start to lift that upper body up, bringing those arms circling around and then kind of at an angle right alongside those ears. So the gaze is going forward, all that weight in the heel, so we're light on those toes and tucking those tailbones, so we're not arching our backs here. Take a couple breaths. And on our next inhale, we're going to pop ourselves all the way up. Exhale, drop those arms down. We'll take the hands, placing them onto the hips. We're going to take the Left leg, stepping it back nice and long onto the mat. So we're on those railroad tracks, making sure those feet are nice and parallel so they're not directly behind each other, helping us a little bit with that balance. We'll inhale, bring the arms up. As we exhale, we're going to fold ourselves over that leg. And just kind of hold this for a couple breaths. Just having those hands down. So we're going to hold this lunge pose for a little bit here, moving throughout it. So at any point, if you need to straighten that leg or give it a nice little wiggle, please feel free. We'll take a couple more breaths here, folding over this leg, trying to keep the length in the back so we don't want to round ourselves over that leg. Taking a couple 
couple breaths here. And on our next inhale, we have the option we can take the hands up on the side to give ourselves a little help up or keep those hands on the floor. And as we inhale, sweep those arms straight up. Again, if you need to kind of straighten that leg, give it a little wiggle, please feel free before sinking back into that pose. We'll hold this for a couple breaths. And as we exhale, we're gonna drop the hands down to the side. So they're coming straight out from those shoulders. And as we exhale, we're gonna twist the upper body towards that bent leg, keeping those arms nice and wide, only twisting as far as is comfortable on that back. If the arms need a little break, you can take them, just kind of wrap them around the body here. Taking a couple breaths. On our next inhale, we're going to shift ourselves back forward, lifting those arms up. As we exhale, drop those arms down, bring them down on that lower back. So we can either take the hands and stack them on top of each other, resting on that lower back. Or you can take those knuckles and kind of give yourself that knuckle in the back, just resting them down, whatever's comfortable. As we exhale, we're going to shift ourselves over that front leg, just hovering barely over that knee. If we want, we can take the hands, dropping them down onto the mat as we did in the beginning, or keeping them here. We'll only hold this for a couple breaths. And as we exhale, we're going to take those hands, drop them onto the mat, and we'll take that front leg, stepping it back to a down dog. And give that right leg a nice wiggle here. And place it back on the mat. We'll give that left leg a wiggle just to kind of even it out. And place that back on the mat. Take a few breaths here in our down dog. Again, feel free to pedal those feet out. Using this down dog to catch the breath if we've lost it. And on our next inhale, walking those feet up to those hands. Folding ourselves over the legs. We'll take a second here and just let that head hang, let those shoulders hang. And then on our next inhale, bringing ourselves all the way up, bringing up the arms, exhaling them down. Take those hands, release them down by the sides, close the eyes, take a deep inhale, and exhale it out. We'll open those eyes back up. Take those feet, toe heel them so they're about a hip distance apart here. We're gonna go into that chair pose from our standing posture here. So same sort of thing, we're gonna start to sink those hips down like we're gonna sit in that chair and swing those arms forward. So they're coming at that diagonal angle out of those shoulders. Gaze is forward, weight in the heels, light on the toes, tucking those tailbones in. And take a few deep breaths. And on that next inhale, popping ourselves up, exhaling, bringing those arms down. 
letting those hands come out of those hips. We're going to take the right leg this time, stepping it nice and long on that mat. Again, getting into that railroad track stand so those feet aren't directly behind each other. And when we feel steady, we'll inhale, bring those arms up. As we exhale, coming straight down over that front leg. Holding it here for those couple breaths. Again, trying to keep the length in that back so we're not rounding ourselves over that leg. And as I said, on our other side, we're going to hold this lunge pose for a few different little, position, little poses here. So feel free to straighten the leg out, give it a wiggle at any point. Take that breath. And on our next inhale, again, we have the option. We can take the hands, placing them on that side, giving ourselves that assist up. Or as we inhale, sweeping those arms straight up and sitting into that lunge. Again, if we need to straighten that leg out, give it that wiggle, please feel free. And then sink back into our lunge. Taking a couple breaths here. On the next exhale, we'll bring those arms out wide. And as we inhale, start to twist towards that bent leg. Again, if those arms need a little break, you can take them and kind of wrap them around yourself. Take those deep breaths here. Holding for one more breath. And on that next inhale, twisting ourselves back forward, bringing those arms up. And as we exhale, drop those arms down, going behind the back, resting again on that lower back with either those stacked hands, trying to take the opposite hand on top if we have those stacked hands, or taking those knuckles and just giving ourselves that knuckle behind us, resting on that lower back. We'll take an inhale here, and as we exhale, we're going to shift forward over that front leg. Again, we're hovering over that leg. If we need to take the hand, we can drop them down onto the mat, or taking it right over that leg. Take those deep breaths, holding this only for a few breaths here. And we'll take those hands, place them onto the mat if we haven't already. Take that front leg, stepping it back nice and long, coming into a down dog, and giving that left leg a shake. And give that right leg a shake. And we'll come down onto those knees. Give ourselves a little rest here. That was a lot in those poses. Tuck those toes together. Sink the hips down over those heels. Stretch those arms out. Rest that forehead on the mat. If those arms need a little bit of a break, we can take them and just let them come alongside those legs. And take those deep breaths here. And using this opportunity to reconnect with that breath. Catching it if we've lost it. And taking one more breath here, exhaling it out. On the next inhale, coming back up onto those hands and those knees. 
<clears throat> we'll tuck those toes behind us and come into a down dog. Take a breath here. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg with a bend in the knee. As we exhale, shift that knee forward, drop that foot between the thumbs. We're going to rotate that back foot so it's parallel with the mat, dropping that heel down. Take those hands on that thigh, give ourselves that little help up. Take the hands on the hips once we come up, give them a little shift over to the side and putting that bend back in that front knee. We're going to bring the arms out over the legs. Gaze going over that front middle finger. So we should feel pretty steady in this pose. <clears throat> Equal weight between the feet on all four corners of the feet. Relaxing those shoulders down our backs. On our next inhale, we're going to rotate that front palm so it's facing up towards the sky. As we exhale, shifting ourselves back, letting that left hand come down along that back thigh, bringing the right arm kind of at an angle over our head. Okay, going up to the sky, engage that core here. We're in a little bit of a back bend. Take a few deep breaths. On our next inhale, coming back to that warrior two, letting those arms come out over the leg. As we inhale, take that front arm, put a bend in the elbow. And as we exhale, we're going to drop ourselves forward. This time, letting that elbow come rest on that side, back arm up and overhead. That front elbow should just be resting so you're not pushing the shoulder up into the ear. And the gaze is either up at the sky at the side or down at that front foot. Whatever is comfortable on the neck. Only for a couple more breaths here. And on the next inhale, bringing ourselves back up, bringing to that warrior two arms out, holding it for a breath. Exhale, those arms down, straighten that front leg, rotate that front foot so it's also parallel with the mat, and then take a second to even those toes out so they're in a nice line across our mats. We'll inhale, bring those arms up, and as we exhale, letting ourselves fall all the way down between those legs. And letting ourselves take a second here to just rest, letting that head hang, letting those shoulders hang. Feel free to shake that head yes and shake it no. Maybe do some circles and then let it hang. We'll take the hands, placing them right over the face, starting to straighten those elbows up, and then walk those hands towards the front of the mat, rotating those feet so you're up on those back toes, and then stepping that front foot back to a down dog. Taking a couple breaths here. Again, feel free to pedal those feet out, or if you need to shake that right leg out, feel free. Shh. 
We'll hold it for a couple more breaths. And then on that next inhale, we're going to lift that left leg this time with a bend in the knee. As we exhale, start to shift that knee forward, drop that foot between those thumbs. Take that back foot and rotate it so it's parallel with the mat, dropping that heel down, taking those hands on that thigh, giving ourselves that little hop up. I'm gonna shift around for you guys. Take those hands on those hips, shift those hips over so they're not facing forward, putting that bend in that front knee. Bring those arms out over the legs and gaze over that front middle finger. Relax the shoulders down the back here. Again, feeling strong and steady between the feet. Taking a couple more breaths. On that next inhale, rotating that front palm so it's facing up towards the sky. As we exhale, shifting ourselves back, dropping that back palm on that back thigh, that front arm coming up at that angle overhead, gaze going up, engaging that core here, holding it for a couple breaths. On that next exhale, bringing ourselves back out over those legs, dropping those arms out. And on the inhale, putting a bend in that front elbow and then shifting ourselves forward on that exhale, dropping the elbow onto the thigh, back arm coming up and overhead. Again, not putting too much pressure into that elbow so that shoulders into that ear, just lightly resting. And the gaze is up at the sky, at the side, or down at that plump foot. Take a couple breaths. And on that next inhale, bringing ourselves back up to that warrior two, arms out, holding it for our breath. And on the exhale, drop those arms down to those hips, straighten that front leg, rotate that front foot so it's parallel with the mat, and take that second to line up those toes. And on that inhale, bring those arms up. As we exhale, fold straight down between those legs. If we can, as we're in this fold, if the hands are down onto the ground, try to walk those hands back so those fingertips are also in line with the toe tips and those elbows are facing back behind us. If the hands are not on the ground, that's okay. Just let yourself hang wherever you're at. And let that head just come down, relaxing everything, shoulders, neck, back. Again, feel free to do those circles with that head. Shaking it yes and shaking it no. And then letting it hang. We'll take a couple more breaths here. Yeah. 
We'll take those hands in front of the face, starting to straighten those elbows. And this time we're gonna start to toe heel those feet in towards the body. Keeping ourselves in our fold here, we're gonna take those feet, walking them <clears throat> so they're right next to each other. We're gonna end up going into a deep squat here. So if it's not comfortable to have the feet right next to each other, you can walk the feet so they're that hip distance apart and that will help a little bit. So from here, wherever we have those feet, we're gonna to start to sink those hips down like we're going into that chair, but we're gonna come all the way down, letting those hips come down, bringing ourselves into that low squat. Again, <clears throat> the heels might be coming up off of the ground here, and that's okay. It just depends on the tightness of the Achilles here. If it's uncomfortable, you can take something and place it behind those heels to kind of give a little bit of support. You can roll the mat, and that helps a little bit too. So what we're going to do from here, if we have those feet together, we're going to start to open those knees out, taking those hands in between the legs here. So we have wide knees, so we're really up on those toes, stretching out those toes, ankles here. And if we can, finding our point on the floor that's not moving, allowing us to come up into a little bit of a balance here. Taking those hands off the ground, bringing them in the, together in front of the heart. We'll hold this for maybe just a breath or two, not too long. And we'll take those hands, place them back down onto the mat, bring those knees in together. Slowly start to straighten those legs back up. Let that blood rush down into those toes. Maybe give each leg a little wiggle. <clears throat> Straightening the knees if we need to. And then we'll place both feet down onto the mat. Take an inhale all the way up. Bringing those arms. Exhaling them down. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, swan diving over those legs. Inhale, sliding those hands, half lift. Exhale, fold. On this inhale, step those feet back to a down dog. Take a second here in this last down dog that we have for the evening. Feel free to pedal the feet down, but just notice the difference that we have in the legs from the beginning of our practice to now. Maybe those legs feel a little bit looser. Maybe those heels are a little closer to the mat. Maybe the legs are a lot more fatigued. And then we'll slowly start to come down onto those knees and make our way of having a seat onto our mats. We'll take the legs straight out in front of us. Take the left leg, placing the foot up onto the mat and cross that foot over onto the other side, placing the foot right on about the outside of that opposite knee. Sitting up nice and tall here. We'll take an inhale. And as we exhale, twisting that upper body towards the bent leg, taking that right arm, placing it alongside that leg. Shoulder, gaze going over that back shoulder. And take those deep breaths.
we'll slowly start to shift ourselves back forward. Take that leg, uncrossing that foot, straightening that leg, give those legs a little wiggle here. And then we'll take that opposite foot, placing it onto the mat. And cross that leg over so that foot's not on the outside of that knee. Sitting up nice and tall here, taking that inhale. And as we exhale, shifting that upper body towards that bent leg, taking that left arm alongside the leg here. Bringing that gaze behind that back shoulder, over the back shoulder, as much as is comfortable on that neck. Taking those deep breaths. And we'll slowly exhale, bringing ourselves back forward, uncrossing those feet, straightening those legs, giving those legs that nice wiggle. And we'll find ourselves making our way all the way down onto our mat. Keeping those feet flat on the mat. <clears throat> Take those hands alongside the body, kind of tuck them in under those hips and try to walk those feet as close as we can up to the hips. And as we inhale, we're going to lift those hips up towards the sky, stretching out the fronts of those legs. And take those deep breaths. And as we exhale, drop those hips back down onto the mat. And we'll bring those knees with the chest. Take a hold of the legs for just a second, pulling those knees in, stretching it out here. And then placing those feet back down onto the mat. Taking those arms out to the side, like at lowercase t. And we'll take the feet, walking them to the right side of the mat. And then shift those hips over, bring those knees up into the chest. And as we exhale, dropping those knees down to that left side. And taking those deep breaths. And we'll slowly start to lift that top leg, follow it by that bottom leg. Place those feet back down onto the mat. And then we'll walk those feet back center, shifting those hips. And then take those feet over to the left and shift those hips over. Bring the knees up into the chest. And as we exhale, drop those knees down to the right side. And taking those deep breaths here.
And we'll slowly start to bring that top leg up, followed by that bottom leg. Take those feet, place them onto the mat. Walk those feet back center, shifting those hips over. We're going to take the legs, straightening them up as much as we can. Straight over those hips. Take those hands, place them on the thigh. And as we inhale, just shift ourselves up, sliding all the way up. Tuck that chin into the chest. If you want, you can take a hold of the back of the calf, kind of making yourself a little kind of funky. I don't know what it would be. And then exhale, slide, coming all the way down. Take those feet, place them back down onto the mat. And then take those legs, let them come all the way down. Take those arms up overhead, doing one final stretch here. So stretch the arms all the way up, stretch those legs all the way down. Full body stretch, just like we're waking up in the morning. And then let it all fall down onto the mat. Let those legs come to wherever's comfortable. Take those arms, let them come alongside the body. Start to close the eyes. If that lower back needs a little bit of a rest, you can take the feet, placing them on the wide edge of the mat, and then knock those knees together, taking a little bit of that pressure off that lower back. Take this time to start to refocus on that breath. Again, feeling it move in, filling all the spaces in the lungs. Moving all down the toes and fingertips. And then feeling it leave with each exhale. Taking these next few minutes to start to clear the mind of any thoughts we might have. Release any stress or tension that we might be holding within the body. Just watching them all go away with each exhale. Feeling ourselves sink deeper and deeper into our mats. If you find it hard to turn those thoughts off, we're going to try counting the breath, counting each exhale and inhale. Allowing yourself to take this time to not have to think about anything, to not have to worry about anything, to just be with yourself in your room, and on your mat.
start to bring a little life back into your body by wiggling your fingers and toes. Start to roll your wrists and ankles. Rock your head from side to side. Begin deepening your inhales and exhales. When you feel ready, slowly take one foot, place it on the mat, and follow it by the other foot. And slowly bring one knee into the chest, followed by the other. Take a hold of the legs and slowly rock side to side. And when you feel ready, roll onto your right side. With your right side grounded by the earth, leaving your left side open to the sun, the moon, and the stars, and all the gifts the universe has to offer you today. When you feel ready, come up to a comfortable seated position. We'll take the hands, place them in front of the heart. Close the eyes one last time. Take a deep inhale in and exhale it all out. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this evening. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.